You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. Welcome back to my channel. This is Raymond Guzman and um, for those of you that are new to my channel, perhaps watching this video, you may not understand why I'm doing this video. Um, I'm not a conspiracy theorist first and foremost. I'm a very spiritual person and I believe that there is more in this world um, than just human beings and animals and, um, you know, reptiles, amphibians, whatever. I believe there's more to that. I believe that there are aliens and I know that you may be thinking way that's you know that's not very possible but yes it is possible if there are angels and there are demons there are you know if people if souls live forever there there's other beings um you know we have our DNA is is evolving and scientists have proven that um there's been proof of life on other planets um there's been proof that the U.S. government is has been working with uh, alien races or species for many, many years. Our DNA does contain a certain amount of extraterrestrial DNA in it, and it is mutating or evolving as generations are being born. Um, there are changes, and so in today's video, I will be covering it within a PowerPoint presentation. You probably won't see my face, but I did want to start off the video this way, so that way you would know what I'm going to be talking about, but I wanted to provide visuals of the things that I will be discussing within the the presentation of this video. So thank you so much for, um, you know, for being on my channel and please keep an open mind. I, I will say this, if you are not a person who believes in this or you, you know, your beliefs are different, please respect mine. This may not be the video for you to watch. Um, so at this time, you know, if you feel like you are not interested in watching, you know, you don't have to, please don't watch it. If you do, you know, are open-minded to the possibilities of more than just human life, uh, please be sure to, to continue watching. So thank you once again and enjoy right, the video. Guys, so today we're going to be talking about aliens among us, proof of their existence. And the reason that I'm doing this uh, presentation um, today is because there's been a lot of you know, speculation and a lot of uh, controversy regarding this topic. This is something that I have been believing in ever since I was a child. I always knew that there was more among us rather than just the human race. And so, um, yes, I will be covering the topic about aliens, everything from abductions to sightings to proof that they are out there and um, they are here among us, um, some in human form. So, um, Please be sure to keep watching. All right, guys. So on this, the crop circles. Um, this is something that is a strange phenomenon that has been occurring all over the world. Um, these are basically patterns um, within a crop circle or within a crop or field um, that people have noticed, and they are in different geometric um, shapes. So for those of you that are possibly um, familiar with sacred geometry, you will know that um, sacred geometry basically has certain alignments and certain um, figures similar to similar to the crop circles that we are um, witnessing. And the crop circle that I am showing here is a prime example. As if you notice, you know, it's a large, you know, on the picture it may look a little short, uh, but it is for the most part a huge, huge um, crop circle. Um, and this, some some of them can expand, you know, several uh, meters out, like a bigger than a football stadium. Um, but as you can see here, um, several people, men and women, have both attempted to recreate the crop circles, and this has been documented as well. And the crop circles that they try to recreate, you know, with certain tools like tractors and or maybe like um, you know plowing tools, they just couldn't do it. They couldn't replicate or duplicate the exact patterns of these crop fields that are in perfect formation. Now, um, you know, one of the things as a spiritual medium, you know, that I, I can get insight on, you know, this is something that spirit has, you know, verified. A lot of these crop circles are actually um, portals to other dimensions. They're gateways. And there's different gateways here on Earth. Um, you know, you can call it gateways, portals. But basically, there are different areas on Earth um, that, you know, allow you to allow them to, um, you know, manifest and have communication to the other side. And for humanity, these are also 
areas of high um, high activity. So people that would be living in the you know in a proximity or a radius around a crop circle formation, um, they will be experiencing different things. Um, they could be finding that they're a little bit more ill from their health because there is a lot of um, radiation that is is existing in that area. They may find that they have uh, paranormal experiences at a bigger magnitude or more a more uh, magnitude than other people and they could also be experiencing you know weird dreams um, basically they could also be seeing a lot of sightings near or around these crop circles you could say it's almost like when a cat or a dog marks their territory with you know with their own um, urine well basically it's almost like the same thing with these um, these extraterrestrials they come down and they're marking the territory with um, a specific um, crop circle and it kind of can be also said it's like a, a, a you know like a sigil I believe that's what you call it or maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong but uh, basically it's like a symbol um, a sacred symbol and it again does open up you know a certain gateway that they can open um, with it being there so again this is just my thoughts and perception with what I've uh, noticed I've had a lot of people you know that um, have come across these things to kind of you know explain or I'm kind of ask questions about that, uh, about this topic so uh, again this is my um, my opinion on crop circles so we are going on to the next subject which is alien objections now, for those of you that have had um, seen the movie, I believe it's Encounters of a Third Kind, or there's a, I can't remember the exact name of it, but there was a movie out there that kind of explained, it was like from the 80s, I believe, or early 90s, about alien abductions. And a lot of people have claimed to have been abducted by aliens. Is this truth or is this a myth? In my opinion, I want to say this is the truth. A lot of people have had visitations to, um, to other you know um, planets other beings uh, have been around them and they come back changed or different and, and I'll explain that in more detail um, now people that have been abducted um, by aliens or extraterrestrials they normally will say that they um, lose track of time like they were looking at their clock and then all of a sudden the clock stopped working or their watch start stopped working um, they saw usually like a bright bright light and um, they remember seeing just a little bit maybe like the figure or the outline the silhouette of, a, of a, um, an extraterrestrial which looks very human like as like a humanoid type of um, you know person um, they also they can't remember what happened to them when they do come back sometimes uh, but they'll go missing for a period of time um, and you know their last memory may be seeing a bright light like I said or a spaceship they can also endure shock basically that means that they come back and they're not the same you know they're in a frazzled state they just don't know what happened to them um, they could seem very different than from you and I um, or different from their norm you know their normal personality or characteristics um, and you know people that have been abducted they have you know seen that there are markings on their body so this could be like in the picture that I have here these were implants that were found in, um, in a person you know through x-rays um, as you look at them they're like little chips and you could say the government is doing this as well so there's a lot of you know ideas or beliefs um, but you know a lot of people that have come back have had like you know weird dots or incisions um, on their body without any kind of explanation and um, it's been documented so and there's more and more people and one of the things that I found very strange when I was going through my research about this is that there's people that even um, I don't know if this is true please comment in the comment section below after seeing this video if this is true or if you've heard of it but people are taking insurance policies against alien abductions I didn't know insurance would cover that or that was a certain thing but according to the statistics that I found in the research there are um, you know almost like a quarter of the population uh, in the United States um, I don't know about other countries but in the United States that take out insurance policies against alien abductions so I mean there there's just a lot of information around that and um, you know one of the things that people say is that once you've been abducted the chances of being abducted again are very high I do believe that that is the case because you're almost being susceptible to the others you know the other side to the um, the you know extraterrestrials and again we all carry um, you know it is my belief that we all carry a part of extraterrestrial DNA in us um, not all of our 
our DNA structures are activated. And a lot of the people that have, um, you know, spiritual abilities like healers, mediums, psychics, um, it is in my belief that they have activated a certain part of their DNA that a lot of people haven't. And so, um, you know, this DNA, uh, we, we have just so much more, you know, possibilities. Like, I also believe that within the human DNA itself that um, there is the possibility for telepathy um, to is being one of the spiritual gifts that we call a spiritual gift. But telepathy, I believe, is how um, extraterrestrials communicate between one another. Um, it's not verbally like I'm talking to you through my mouth, but through the mind. And um, that is how they communicate with one another. And I believe that we also have that capability, but within our DNA structure, it was um, somehow um, turned off. Um, but it is... You know, in certain cases, it, there have been people that are being tested by the government. Uh, again, this is all secret, and I don't believe that they are going to, ever, you know, at any time soon uh, release this information. But I do, from my spiritual insight of what I see, the government it does have certain individuals that they have tested that are um, do have these um, this uh, communication, the telepathy, um, as I mentioned, which is the ability to communicate through the mind without speaking to one another. Um, basically, they can hear your thoughts. It's like hearing your thoughts, you know, or speaking to someone, but not opening your mouth. It's just through the mind. Um, and again, I, I do believe that this is something that is going on. And in time, yes, you know, we will find out more. It will be leaked from the government somehow. Um, someone within that government itself um, will be somehow leaking this information or we will gain access by some other means. But um, for right now, you know, there's a lot of experience that are going on. And in the next slide, I'm going to be talking about a famous celebrity. Her name is Sia, and most of y'all may know her as a singer from an Australian singer. Um, but she said something uh, very recently on James Corden. I believe it was like last year in 2017. She went on to James Corden's show, um, you know, while he goes on his car. And she said something that really struck a chord with me. So um, we will be covering that in the next slide. Okay, now for those of you that may not know who Sia is, she is an Australian singer. Um, she is very famous and, um, you know, she's had hits like Chandelier, um, Titanium, you know, just, she's just a great overall down to earth person. Now, um, I found it very shocking, you know, because not a lot of celebrities will admit that because they, they fear, you know, they have want to project a certain image or maintain a certain image as a public figure. But um, Sia openly admitted during her, um, her interview, you know, or her uh, time with James Corden, um, and he asked her, he said, um, he pressed her, he wanted to believe if she did believe in aliens, he had heard that she did, and she says, and this is quoted, I only believe in the aliens because I watched a video of the ex-Canadian Minister of Defense just saying plainly that he knows for a fact that the American government is working with five different alien races and my blood ran cold and I was like the guy is the ex-Canadian Minister of Defense he's not just some guy on YouTube Sia said so um yeah I did take a look at the YouTube video and that clip and she did actually say that she did confess you know to um believing in aliens and um you know hearing this Prime Minister or I'm not the Prime Minister but this Canadian Minister from Canada um you know he was an ex-Canadian Minister actually you know uh, validate that this was, and the singer was likely referring to Paul uh, Hellier, um, who was Canada's defense minister in the 1960s, and admitted that he believed in aliens publicly in 2005. Now, he also claimed a government document revealed that four species of aliens had been visiting Earth for years. Do I believe that this is true? Yes, I do. And again, there's a lot of um, like Area 51 in, in Nevada um, and also in um, Roswell, New Mexico. Um, there's just a lot of areas, you know, the government has secretly been working on, um, you know, obtaining a lot of information. Will they ever disclose this openly, you know, or willingly to the public? No. And the reason for that is because it would cause a lot of uproar, not only just in the government, but also within the religion Um within religion because a lot of religious beliefs like the bible and a lot of uh, different you know the quran um quran uh, a lot of these different documents um do not you know have anything in there talking about 
extraterrestrials or aliens. So anything that would, you know, go against that or would kind of contradict that would really, really cause a major uproar in the whole entire human race. Um, in every you know part of the world um you know and it, they would lose credibility in religion and also in in the social conditioning beliefs that a lot of people have been given to believe that the, you know aliens maybe are just more of a fairy tale and they're not real but that is not the case um and in the next slide i will be covering some sightings all right guys so in the picture here is a photo from nasa um and as you can see they nasa actually um came out not too long ago and showing documented proof of alien sightings uh with satellite imaging and this is one of the the images of that they captured this is actually like a spacecraft um type of you know uh circular or like an eclipse uh ellipse ellipses you know kind of like a, an oval or an eye shape uh, type of, you know, with a lot of light. So certain parts of it were, were dark. Um, that's typically how for the longest period of time in cartoons and illustrations and UFO sightings, this is typically how people see it. It's almost like a disc shape, um, these spacecrafts that they have saw. Uh, saw. Um, there's been countless, countless sightings uh, spotted all over the world uh, in different areas of the world. Um, and a lot of them are in South America, here in the U.S., uh, primarily like around Nevada, uh, Roswell, you know, anywhere in New Mexico, in Texas. Um, there's just been all over the world. So it's not to say only just one place. Um, the real question is here, why are the UFOs or extraterrestrials letting themselves be seen by um, the human race? And that's a very interesting question. In my belief, I believe that they are um, not wanting so much for us to know that they're, you know, um, be invisible, but I believe that a lot of them are, you know, leaving um, and shifting into a different a dimension at the speed of light. Um, you know, if you go back and think about um, Atlantis and the story of Atlantis and how these were star beings or, you know, very advanced culture. And, you know, a lot of people believe that maybe it's in the Bermuda Triangle, um, you know, that is where Atlantis once existed. And this was like um, a civilization in itself that um, was over water and um, they were just very advanced. They had telepathy, they had spiritual abilities, um, very advanced uh, knowledge. You know, there's a lot of, you know, possibilities that Atlantis was actually an alien race uh, or star being race that people, um, you know, had these, um, these spiritual abilities and, um, you know, they, they were there and then they ascended. I, in my personal belief, I don't believe that the people from Atlantis that were, you know, destroyed or they, um, they got destroyed. I believe that they actually did ascend into a different dimension, basically left the human, uh, realm, you know, the earthly realm and ascended into a different realm. Um, because again, their energy can never die. A uh, soul can never die. Um, you know, they do have human qualities and et cetera. But um, for the most part, you know, a lot of these um, extraterrestrials, they have, you know, evolved and they are uh, actually, there are other realities or different dimensions. A lot of people would refer to these as a dimension. And basically it's like a parallel universe, sort of, sort of like earth but um you know this is where the spiritual beings uh would be at you know some people would call it um heaven and some people would just call it a different dimension or level of existence but i do believe that a lot of the people like the mayans that you know a lot of the dinosaurs a lot of them went extinct a lot of them went missing a lot of these things are still alive in another dimension um and there are other planetary beings. Um, the planets that we see in our solar system, I believe, is just a glimpse, in my opinion, of what is out there. There are more planets that are not seen. I believe they have um, very strong and advanced capabilities to actually have the planets hidden from the human eye and human uh, radar and satellites. So a lot of the things that we are witnessing or that we have seen through a telescope or through um, satellite imaging, um, you will not see these other planets um, because again, there's an invisible factor um, due to the fact that they're so advanced in technology. And a lot of the ideas, in my opinion, of the technology that we have today, it mimics you know, because a lot of this is embedded in our, within our DNA as well. So a lot of these different, um, you know, 
uh, creations and different electronic things that we have going on, um, you know, it will, uh, you know, it makes sense that we would have that, that advanced technology, especially if we have some type of link in our DNA to the extraterrestrials. Now, I did have... Um, um, a dream, I believe, at one time, and uh, it wasn't too long ago, and I don't know if this was more like, because I am a clairvoyant, and I saw, it, it could be a considered like a vision of what is to come, and I did see something that was, um, you know, some people would find disturbing, I didn't find it disturbing in the sense, but it basically was um, a dream in which I was inside of a space uh, spacecraft, just like the one in this image here. Um, and I remember being in that spacecraft and communicating um, with telepathy, you know, um, with the um, the alien. But it didn't look like an alien, it looked just human like me. Um, and it didn't look like an alien being the way that my presentation has it in the very, you know, with a little antennae and stuff. No, it was a human. And I remember seeing Earth at a distance, um, the planet Earth, and it was being ravaged with um, a lot of smoke. And it was just like, I think it was like, the ending of earth and um it was something that i saw in the dream and i remember i had pulled out my ipod um that i had in my hand and i was trying to connect it to wi-fi and i couldn't get wi-fi to see the news and i remember this alien being you know telling me uh in my dream um that you know the reason that i couldn't use it was because there was no need for it in that existence where we were uh it wasn't needed to have wi-fi it was basically um, there was no Wi-Fi. There's no Wi-Fi was something that humans use on Earth, but they're so advanced um, on, you know, in their own planetary system that we didn't need it. And I remember just looking in disbelief and seeing Earth um, being destroyed, in, you know, essentially, um, you know, do I believe that the Earth will, you know, go through uh, an extinction? Yes, I do. Um, how soon will this happen? I don't think. Thank you.